us, okay? Oh, it's this one, all right. I was like, who am I meant to? It's literally gonna be like three words, I'm gonna say. Have you got to ask me questions, have you? You might start me off a bit better. Okay, as I say, I can't read my actual writing, so that's fine, but hopefully. And do you want me just to say, Wormley, Turnford is a place? Do you want me to do that as an introduction, or do you want names, or how are you doing it? Or I am allowed to read, in it? Because I can't remember. <laughs> right, so you're going to ask me one question, but I'll tell you because I can pick... What Wormley means to me? Yeah. Should I put my gloves on? <laughs> Whatever it is. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> I can breathe. I think my parents moved here, um, I think a couple of years before I was born, I think. So, I mean, I've been here my whole life, but my parents haven't. They've, they've travelled around a lot. Um, but, I mean, this is really the only place that I've ever known, so, yeah. When I arrived, I had some friends in Hampstead, so I was living in Hampstead until the 86, 86. Um, from the 92, I came here to Wembley. Oh, I've been here about 15 years now. 15 years? 15 years. Where were you before? Um, I, well, I come from originally Hackney, and then straight up to Chesant, about when I was about 12. So yeah, so Chesant. Where I grew up, uh, well, originally I grew up in a town called Ribera in Sicily. And then I came over here to England when I was nine. And uh, eventually, gradually, just started school, got myself in with the English culture, as you may say. And uh, yeah, I never looked back from there and England is now my home. Um, I come from Galway Bay. Do you ever hear of the Galway Bay? So, um, Galway Shawl? Seriously, this music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's exactly where I come from, where he sang it. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. It's wonderful. I didn't know. Can I go? What's, oh, sorry. Can I continue from there? Yeah, I better hide because I don't. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry. I actually did it on my iPad. I might be able to read it better than that. Sorry. Was there a reason why Hertfordshire? We lived in um, Tottenham for 28 years. And my son lives in the um, Fairfield Drive. So we moved up here then to be beside him. Born and bred? No, originally from Tottenham. Tottenham? Yeah. Uh, my nan's up here, and plus I had a lot of trouble down there, so it's a lot better up here. It's all quiet, people all nice. <laughs> when I came back to live in Hertfordshire, that kind of seemed weird because I also think of myself as a little London child because I grew up in London. I'd hoped my son would be very happy because it would be near to London and his friends, uh, but out in the country, which we both loved. Instead, it turned out to be a place where teachers judged him unfairly because of his colour and they damaged his educational opportunities because of their lazy racist attitude. Um, I probably live with that more than he has in some ways, but he won't come back to this area. He wouldn't want to live here. So why have I stayed? 
I've often thought of leaving is the honest truth of the matter. And there have been great difficulties at work. All sorts of negatives have happened here. So it's a kind of complex place for me. But I love the greenery. I love things like the allotments that I can go to and that have saved me, I think, during this pandemic period. And little by little, I've made links with lots of people from actually all around the world, weirdly, in this very predominantly monocultural environment. Actually, there are people from all sorts of walks of life, and that, I think, has kind of kept me here, you know? So there was something worth finding here after all. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to say that bit at the end. <laughs> So can I give you, can I give you the paper? And if I turn it this way, it should. Right. Okay, here we go again. Oh, please don't tell me I just deleted it after he just chatted me up like that. Oh, shocks. To be honest, it's gonna sound bad. Should I say it? Yeah. Yeah, you would say, yeah. Yeah, yeah, say it. To be honest, I wasn't the most kind of like, to be honest, it was like a rock and a hard place. Because I heard about moving to Turnford and I was just like, oh, okay. Like I haven't necessarily heard the best. Which to be fair, that's how it was back then. And then, yeah, I got to know everyone. Everyone's a little bit like neighbors or EastEnders. You don't want to go down EastEnders though, do you? Let's go for, let's go for neighbours. <laughs> Where do I come from? I'm born and bred in Manchester, but not central Manchester, an outside urban area in Manchester. Um, my childhood was, for me, amazing. I loved school. I'm obviously of Asian origin. There was um, lots of community stuff going on and I enjoyed I think I enjoyed the best of both worlds of a true British schooling and also a little bit of a an ethnic vibe yeah I had the best of both worlds I lived in Edmonton originally and then I moved to Enfield and I wanted a better life for my children. Um, I wanted them not to get into troubles with gangs or anything like that. So um, we moved up to Wormley. And uh, at first it was very different. It was very quiet, open fields. I was really shocked. But then it was the best decision that I made for them. I've got six children and um, the way of life is completely different. I come from islands, small, perfectly formed, betwixt the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, and nestled against the ample bosom of South America. They are surrounded by turquoise waters with rumbling, tumbling, white-tipped waves, changing to gentle, lapping waves that whispered and sighed upon the beaches, lulling me to sleep. I come from islands where gentle breezes danced over the hills, sometimes changing to roaring winds which rode roughshod over my island, chasing the low white clouds up and down and changing the cobalt blue skies to dark grey, hiding the bright sun and then back again. Um, well, I like that it's close to the train station, so you can basically get absolutely anywhere. Um, I like that um, there's, like, there's lots of parks and areas like that. Um, there's a couple of small businesses as well, so that means, I mean, where I work is a really nice place because it's like a little small family-run business, so it's, it's not like as commercialised and things like that, so, you know. It's nice, uh, I met a lot of friends. I like Hertfordshire. Uh, you notice that uh, 
soon as you pass the N25, it's different atmosphere because the, even the driving is different. As soon as you get in London, it's completely mad, you know. But uh, I love Hertfordshire. I moved from Manchester to get married in this area, well, in Enfield, and that was 26 years ago. We moved to Chesant, Broxbourne, that kind of area, and the last move I made was almost in Wormley and Turnford borders. What I find that Wormley and Turnford give to me is that feeling that I had in Ashton in Manchester, because it's a smaller community and you can feel part of it. Uh, mostly my nan, she got me out of that because before I'd come up here, I got stabbed when I was down there. So she didn't want me in that kind of environment. So it was better to come up this way. And since I've been up here, I've got a job and everything else. I'm doing well for myself. So it's all right, everyone's kind up here. You've got people you go down the road, they say good morning to you and everything else. So that's what I like. I uh, always get mistaken for like Turkish or Greek and stuff, I always get that. But um, I don't think that it should make any difference, to be honest, rather if I'm Italian or Iranian or English. I just be myself and if people like me, then it's all good. The Blast, I think the local people, everyone knows everyone and you can get on with everyone. You can, you can literally pop to your local shop and you'll bump into someone and you'll probably stand there for about half hour talking to them. I like that, it's, it's nice. Do you know what, I, I really like this area. Since I moved here, I've, I've always, always liked it. I always thought to myself, I'd, even what people told me before about this area, it, it, it didn't mean much because as soon as I got here, all the people are really friendly. Got this little shop here, what's, what's it called? The cost cutter? Okay, yeah. It's got everything always open and always fill my needs. It's safe. Yes, we have our little issues, but I think compared to other areas in Hertfordshire and in England per se, I feel quite safe and happy. And I personally will be staying here until they take me out feet first. What, is there, is there like an image that sums up the area to you? Andy and his family. Who's Andy? Uh, the, my, my boss, the one that owns Costcutter, I think him and his family, because they've been here for 36 years. So I think and that image, I think, sums up this local area. Everyone knows on, everyone loves them. And yeah, I think that's the best definition of this area. To me, good people, good people, there's some very good people here and it's quite a close unit as well, so unless you want your skeletons head, <laughs> you just tell one person the whole estate knows it's that close, it's pretty good, keeps it lively. What do you think of Wormley? Yeah. What do you like? I have loads of friends. thing is, this is, this is my home, good, bad or indifferent, it's my home. And even though, yes, we may have deprivation and certain spots of this and that, blah, blah, and this is the thing that I'm going to say, we have some true gems in the area that bring it to life. Some really big personalities, um, very familiar, friendly people, <coughs> when they want to be. Um, no, they are friendly. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's, that's my home but they are true gems in the area. <laughs> I'm glad I matched the background. I'm so impressed with that. <laughs>